The other day, I got a flat tire and was stranded in the middle of nowhere. That was actually right now. All because this little screw got in my tire while I was driving. And it makes you think, isn't there something we could do to prevent our tires from going flat? I'm sure you're thinking the same thing as me here. Make the tires out of wood. See, wood is meant to have nails in it. Also, because wood literally grows on trees, you can get a spare almost anywhere. But this won't be easy. Ah. It took me three attempts uh. with three different approaches uh. before I perfected the design. We built something great here. But are they actually any good? Or did I just make a fire starter with extra steps? Is it on fire yet? Whoa. There's multiple police cars. No, 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 contact. So the first step is to get some wood. I'll have to make a trip to everyone's favorite hardware store, Home Depot. All right, back at the shop, we picked plywood for our first attempt. It comes in really large sheets, which is perfect because most wood is cut way too small for a full-size tire. If you're new around here, this is the water jet. It uses water pressurized to 60,000 PSI to cut anything into any shape. Now that those are cut into a perfect shape, we need to glue them together. As I'm gluing, I actually have a little confession to make. That whole flat tire story was completely made up. The real reason we're doing this is because my friend Hafu is coming to town. He's filming a video with us and I promised I could make a drivable car with wooden wheels. Yeah, that's super easy. The problem is I was bluffing and I have no idea if that's actually possible. He has a huge YouTube channel and if these wheels don't work, I'm going to look like a schmuck in front of 8 million third graders. Wow, Mr. Daniel, it's so good to see you again. Oh, hello, Senior Brentley. Daniel, you got some great hair. Oh, yeah, all these stressful YouTube videos are really getting to me. You dang nut! Uh, Come on, you piece of crap! All right, that's not going anywhere. Um, it's a little too thin. You can see the washers are just uh, dangling around and not doing anything. All right, moment of truth. Will it survive? It's plywood, so it's a little weak. Oh, looks like it worked. Get the jack out from under there. Oh, I can't. <laughs> the wheel's not tall enough. That's why you always got to keep a two by four in your car, kids. We're starting the car. Started first try. Good job, Greg. Going into reverse. Oh, ah, that doesn't look enough. Oh, ooh. 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 All right. We're rolling. We're rolling. Yeah. We're driving. We're off road. Oh, it's already falling apart. Oh, is it? Oh, you can see that parts of rock from the asphalt in there. I guess let's see how far we can go. Oh. Oh, oh man, that is bumpy. All right, I'll give it some gas for the straightaway, and then we'll do a burnout. Horsepower, give it all she's got. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's scary. I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, no. All right, I don't trust these brakes very much, so I got my left foot floored. Pedal to the metal on the brake, pedal. Let's do a little burnout, shall we? Ah. I'm gonna roll out this window so nothing comes flying at me. That doesn't Got super small. Wait, really? Oh no. <laughs> uh, maybe plywood isn't strong enough. If you're trying to turn your plywood into shavings, this is a great way to do it. The tire was coming apart a lot more on the way back. You can see on the way out, it was like kind of leaving a trail. And then on the way back, it just <laughs> was falling apart. The plywood wasn't great. We're gonna need something a little bit sturdier. I figured a regular hardware store wasn't going to cut it, so this time I had to go to a real wood store. I had the perfect piece of wood in my sight, but then I realized something completely diabolical. All right, so I just did the math, and that would actually be $600, and I'm not Cam from Blacktail Studios who can buy one of those and make the same video every week and then sell it for $30,000, but they have an exotic wood scrap bin and take a looky what I found. I think this will be big enough. This is some nice purple wood. What is this? Purple heart. It's still gonna be $80 for this tiny piece of wood, but I think we can make it work. It might be just big enough to clear the brake rotors. $86, that was pretty close, but we got ourselves our purple heart. Didn't have to do anything heroic for it either. <laughs> now it's time to water jet this into a wheel. 
I made a real gamer move here and didn't do any research on this wood and set the water jet to cut two inches of birch. The good news is that it was two inches. The bad news is it was a lot harder than birch. You can see the cut quality on the bottom is really rough, which means the jet was moving way too fast. She's a real beaut. Woo, a purple heart. Making my heart feel some type of way. I'm curious how strong this is, because even though it's so thin, that's like a, what, two millimeters? This is not breaking super easily, so let's see what it takes. Holy moly, that's a lot more than I thought it would. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Oh my, ah! Good gravy! For being as thin as that was, that was insane. This wood is tough as nails. Normally when I buy some material, I either already know some of its properties or look them up, but I just went in blind with this stuff and I'm impressed. We'll have to see how this does as a wheel. Who needs stain when you have epoxy resin? Ooh, yeah. That looks lovely. Coat that whole thing. Ooh. Is this gonna come off within 30 seconds of driving? Probably. Am I still gonna do it? Absolutely. I sell propane and propane accessories. Uh. This is looking lovely. Resin's all cured, and you can really see that purple color and the nice wood grain, so I call that a success. You wanna be a tough guy, do ya? Oh, come on! I better not see any mold release comments. Ooh, there we go. Piece of cake. Me when I'm in a loud noise competition and my opponent is Hunter. Hunter definitely wins. Are you grinding, brother? What are you doing? Nothing, I'm jacking off the car. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right, gamers. Let's see here. Oh, that's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely bigger than the brakes. <laughs> That is so small. 12 inch wheel, everyone. We might not even need the washers on this since it's such precision manufacturing. Water jet channel special. Oh, oh that's yeah, solid. That's the best one so far. <laughs> that's this is my, my favorite, favorite one so, one so far. far. Nice that's job, team. <laughs> Roll the clip. Yo, look at that. I'm worried this is gonna hit the ground before the wheel. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it's not touching. We've got a half inch of clearance right here, but it's not touching. That part is probably pretty hard to come by. So let's try not to break the car. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have to dodge all those potholes. Oh no. All right, <laughs> let's see what happens. Car started, that's a good sign. All right, ready, set, go. Ooh. Oh, I'm moving just fine. Uh, I'm definitely scraping now. Oh, stop scraping, please. Pretty please. Oh, oh, that doesn't sound good. I think if I go over any sort of bump, it'll scrape. Oh, oh it's resisting me so hard. I have to turn left really hard. If we go a little faster. Up to you. Uh, oh, there's a big bump coming up. It's not even big. But it's big to me right now. We're still driving. I'm kind of surprised oh, by that. What? That doesn't sound good. What's that? I don't know. Try it. Keep going again. <laughs> okay. There it goes. What was it? It just stopped for some reason. Oh. Okay. I'm nervous. I say this every time, but it's always scary. Holy moly. All right, we got to 10 miles an hour. Ah, oh, I'm oh. scared. Oh man. I can, hear it. I can hear it. Rocks are getting shoved in there. They're breaking off. Well, this is holding up really well, but it's just too small. If it grinds down anymore, we won't be able to drive. And we need something for all four tires. This only worked on the front. We can't even do a burnout with this, so that's lame. This was $80 for this tiny piece. I mean, at that point, you might as well just buy real tires. I mean, you gotta consider this includes the wheel. There's no tire. Yeah, there's no tire on this. This is just the wheel. Uh, what's his name? Engineer. John Milwaukee. 
John Malecki. Oh, John Malecki. Yeah, yeah. John Malecki would be so proud. Yeah, he'd probably make fun of us for this wheel. We need a better solution for all four tires. Something a little cheaper and something a little bigger. For our final attempt, I'm going to get some 2x12s from good old Home Depot and take them over to the good old chop saw. Then I'll knock the tripod over. I'll cut the 2x12s into 24 inch lengths. If you're a smarty pants, you can probably tell what's happening here. If not, it's okay, I'm not very smart either. Now I'm a little freak and I like to spread wood glue with my hands. There we go, gamers. I'll push the two together and use some bar clamps to hold them together overnight. Okay, actually these clamps were a bad idea. So I took the tire off my Honda Civic and weighed it down with that. All right, let's get this useless tire out of the way. <sighs> now that the glue is completely dry and won't get a better seal when screws are added, I'll add some screws. You might want to make fun of me for not being able to drill these in, but actually I don't have the right size bit and you'd be making fun of an impoverished person. You wouldn't make fun of a poor person, would you? Then our good buddy Hafu arrived and we got to work on finishing the wheels. Also, because we didn't have the water jet cutting precisely, we had to go back and make some adjustments by hand. But it'll still work. It just took 30 times longer than it should have. Never did so much dirty work, man, man stuff. Manual labor. It's a good thing you're wearing a blue collar today. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking pretty clean, man. I don't want to brag or anything, but I kind of nailed that. So now we have to attach it to our car back there with some lug nuts. So we'll drill some holes and put the lug nuts in that will secure the wheels. There we go. All right, Whoa. that's sturdy. We got a wheel. I'm feeling pretty hopeful about this. A actually. wooden wheel. Yo, that spins? Yeah. Doesn't and that seem doesn't solid? Jiggle? I feel like we just reinvented the wheel. We may have. BF Goodrich is going to come knocking on our door trying to pay us money for this patent. Now we just need to do it three more times. All right, that's the last one, finally on. <laughs> it only took three extra hours. Yeah. What do you mean? We started at one, it's now 9.12, so it's been eight hours. Dale did a good job on the bandsaw, cutting these nice and round. Did my best. One of them is completely off-centered though, so that one's gonna like shake around <laughs> when you drive, so. I put the vibrator wheel on. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> The car is built, I got my cowboy hat on. It's time to put it to the durability test. Daniel, you ready? I'm ready. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. I'm excited. Oh, wow, this ride's low. All right, let's shift the gear to reverse and we're ready to go. We're on our merry way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the brakes don't really work, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a bumpy ride. So we have a series of durability tests set for this car. First up is that pothole over there. I don't think the car's gonna do too well over this. Oh, oh. <laughs> it hurts driving this. Oh, Ooh. wasn't that bad. Surprisingly oh. good. Howdy. <laughs> he was wondering what was going on. This is a pretty nice ride. I'm gonna accelerate a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the car is rocking. Should I Rock pull in there? Out. Yeah, oh, we got an employee or something. <laughs> it's on two by fours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is better than a Hummer. <laughs> How are our wheels looking? Oh, they're, they're doing all right. Our wheels are okay? They're, they're splintering a little, but they're doing okay. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you need one of these. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this sounds so wrong, dude. <laughs> that was a drift, bro. Oh, that was a drift. <laughs> oh what no. What did that come off of? Where did that come from? <laughs> Which tire is, is that? Is that from this tire? I'm not sure. <laughs> How did it break Maybe into a stick? I'm gonna get out. Yeah, just... check, check on that, check on that. <laughs> oh, there it is. Had a clean little break there. <laughs> can't pull out in front of anyone because you can't accelerate. Oh, oh. wait, that, that, <laughs> oh, that did not sound good. No, it didn't. All right. I think we're about ready to go to um, Wiener Schnitzel after this car behind us passes. Turn in now. 
Oh wow, we are making it onto the streets. <laughs> How many people notice? No one's even paying attention to no. that guy was. <laughs> we, we fit right in, man. Yes. <laughs> Daniel, we built something great here. We did, I agree. I just heard a big crack. Oh, there's a police truck right there. There's multiple police cars. Oh, police is watching now. I hope they're not watching too. Uh, uh, don't make eye contact. <laughs> Nothing to see here, officer. Yeah, can we get an extra large, extra large wiener? Just a uh, normal. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the good old days. You don't even get this much attention in a supercar. I know. <laughs> Who needs a McLaren, man? Yeah, when you got wooden wheels. Oh, we are getting so much attention, yeah, dude. We got the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a police car in town right now. Nice car, man. Uh, thank you. Glad you like it. Bag there you go. secured. Bag secured. That guy is wondering what he's looking at. <laughs> oh, back to the good old days, man. Just because. <laughs> All right. What was that? Did someone? Oh wait! Stop! 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 stop. Something broke. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it definitely broke. No, this one. <laughs> it's all Daniel's fault. Yeah, I. Uh, if it weren't for me. Our back wheel is broken right now. It's splitting half. We have two options. We can either call the tow truck or we can find a way to keep going. What do you think? I say we put on a spare. I thought that was our last wheel. It is, but all cars come with a spare. You know what I'm saying? So oh. you get one flat. Okay, so like start. put on a spare rubber wheel, yeah. we can keep going off road. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> <laughs> All right, amen, brother. Let's go. No, I would help, but I know nothing about cars. Bam, Daniel, back at it again. Is I'm seeing that right? You seeing yeah, that right? You are. Did you, this one yet? That that one uh, that one broke. It's, it broke? A, it's in the back. You can see it there. Oh, so y'all gotta refix it? Yeah, we we had to put the spare on. Oh, yeah. Did that break? Oh uh, yeah, that back wheel feels smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we just go with rubber all along? That's a good question. <laughs> we also did a speed bump test, and the wheels did pretty good. Oh. Oh, oh easy. Oh. Easy. No crack yeah. sound, no crack sound. No. That's what I hope for. Well, it took us until it got dark, but at least we can do a burnout, and the goal is to start a fire. What was that? Something tells me that wood wheel just blew up. Well, I mean, I'd say we could carry on. Oh, there's some burn marks on those wheels. So we were getting close. I think I just damaged it and then stopped and then started again. And it got hot both times, but never hot enough to light on fire. So if I do it all in one go, it might work. Ugh, it is currently 10.08 PM. The wooden wheel is mounted. It's blowing up. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. That is a ton of smoke. I really am kind of smoke. Is it on fire yet? Should I go faster? That smells way better than rubber tire smoke. I'll say, it smells like a campfire out here. Well, uh, it, we made some nice smoke that smelled really good and some sparks maybe, but no fire. So that's very saddening. Hafu filmed a couple other experiments with us while he was here. Go check out his video in the description. Now how do I get up in there? Ugh. There's a whole bunch of spider